What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're doing another competitive analysis of the third Tapu that I've covered so far. Uh, if you want to see the first two, I will link them in the description below. They're really, really cool Pokemon. The Tapu Pokemon in general are really, really cool. And today I'm really excited to talk about Tapu Bulu, who actually plays a very different role than the Tapus that we've seen thus far. So, if you're just joining us now, my name is Wolf Glick. I'm the 2016 Pokemon World Champion, and I'm currently on a journey to bring you guys some uh, information and some suggestions, excuse me, for some uh, sets and spreads for what that I, that I personally think could be very good in VGC. So, um, thank you for joining us. Let's jump right into it. First of all, we have Tapu Bulu. So, Tapu Bulu, like I mentioned, is one of four of the Tapu Pokemon, the Guardians of Alola, um, with Grass and Fairy typing, making him four times weak to Poison and weak to Fire uh, and weak to Ice, among other things, but also having a very, very strong uh, offensive type in Grass. Normally, Grass isn't thought of as that kind of, as like really an offensive typing, but... The thing is that when Tapu Koko enters, sorry, Tapu Bulu enters the battlefield, he activates Grassy Surge, which is his ability, which changes the battlefield, uh, the terrain of the battlefield to Grassy Terrain. So what does Grassy Terrain do? Basically, at the end of the turn, it gives like a free leftovers recovery to everything touching the ground, and I would say arguably more importantly, anything touching the ground gets a 1.5 times boost to any of its grass attacks. And you're okay, like you may be thinking, hmm. 1.5 times boost, that's actually a pretty significant boost, it's like a free choice band or choice specs, I wonder if Tapu Bulu gets any good moves or maybe a high attacking stat to take advantage of that, so I will I will inform you that you are correct. Tapu Bulu gets access to Woodhammer, which despite the fact that it is recoil, is a base 120 power move, boosted by the fact that Tapu Bulu is grass type, boosted by the fact that it, um... It also is boosted by grassy terrain, and you're like, okay, so maybe, what are his attack stats? How are its, how are its offensive stats? Maybe they're bad. Decently low HP, like all the Tapus, they all have the same base HP, but 130 attack stat is very impressive in my opinion. 115 defense is really good, special attack doesn't matter, special defense is not bad, 95 is not great, but it's not terrible, and then relatively low speed, um, especially compared to the other Tapu Pokemon. So overall, I'd say a pretty well-rounded Pokemon. Let's look at the sets. Boop! This is, this is I think, your standard set. Um, feel free to mess around with these moves and the items, this is just what I personally preferred. So I said protect standard on anything non-choice in VGC or assault vested wood hammer leech seed and superpower so leech seed and superpower are more like team specific i think i think that what you really need is protector wood hammer um and the idea here is that with a grassy mz tab blue hits very very hard as you can see here so um <laughs> this is tab blue this is Tapu Bulu's Woodhammer with Max Attack, and that's why, this is why I chose to run Max Attack, guys. Uh, the plus one minus one just cancel out with the Intimidate, um, if you look down there. But as you can see, Woodhammer on Offensive Arcanine has an 81.3. Ooh, that's really, that's really large. 81.3 is really, really huge. Chance to Oko, and obviously most Arcanine are going to run some bulk, right? But this is, and this is assuming they didn't switch in to Intimidate you, but just, this is just to give you an idea of the kind of the sheer power of Tapu Bulu Woodhammer, because... I mean, Arcanine is not frail by any means, you know, even without, even without, um, many investment in bulk, it's still, like, an incredibly, an incredibly offensive Pokemon, so, or, um, like, pretty, incredibly bulky Pokemon, not, its stats don't really, like, its stats on their own don't really warrant that, but the fact that it can, it can lose up to 81% of its health, sorry, it has up to 96% of, of its health, the fact that there's an 81.3% chance to be okoed by Tapu Bulu is pretty convincing in my opinion. So next up, I wanted to know how much it did to Marowak. So this is this Woodhammer is actually Grassy MZ. I've changed the base power. Same thing with the Arcanine. So that's not regular Woodhammer. That's that's Grassy MZ boosted Woodhammer. And as you can see, it does seventy three percent to eighty six percent, which is quite a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage indeed. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty impressive. This basically means that if nothing, like basically what I'm trying to show you is that. Nothing really wants to switch in on a boosted wood hammer. Like, nothing... I'm sorry, boosted grass, whatever the thing is called. Bloom Doom or whatever the heck it's called. Um, nothing could switch in. Not even Marowak with its base 110 defense and max HP. You know, it, it can't... Nothing wants to switch in there. Um, and so I think that, that's one of the main reasons I put Grassy MZ, especially because you basically have free leftovers on your Tapu Bulu. Um, and then I was just curious, okay, I was like, mm, okay, what about just regular wood hammer? This isn't Grassy MZ versus, versus Tapu, Tapu Lele. And so I said, okay, 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 let's look at this. And then I was like, all right, so it always Okos, even with max HP. So as you can see, Tapu Bulu hits very, very, very hard. And I was like, okay, so what do we learn? Tapu Bulu hits very hard. I wonder if there's any way we could make it hit harder. And so this is your choice band set. Um, I haven't tested this one, so I don't know if it's going to be good. But basically the idea is here, Woodhammer is now, your, again, your primary form of offense. But the fact of the matter is that boosted Woodhammer is very, very, very strong. This is basically a helping hand boost, plus your grassy terrain boost, plus your uh stab boost for being a grass type plus a relatively high base attack 
Um, so let's go here. And so I was like, okay, what do the EVs do? So uh, offensively, this is in grassy terrain. So, but it doesn't have a choice band. Sorry. So this should be. I didn't count this correctly. So this, sorry guys. This should be choice band. So this. What this basically. What does this do? So. In grassy terrain, the, the goal here is to be never, never, ever, 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 ever to it KO'd by Psychic. So you can always switch Tapu Bulu in and live a Psychic, as long as they're not a Life Orb. And then even a Psychic terrain to be able to Oko back with Wood Hammer. Um, though you don't really want to be using Wood Hammer and Psychic terrain if you can help it. But um, that's like, especially like if you have Trick Room or Speed Control and they're paralyzed, or you're, for some reason you're faster than them, you could still count on Wood Hammer even if they bring in, like let's say you paralyze them and they switch out, or they switch in during Trick Room, that way your Wood Hammer can still KO, which is a big benefit here. Even if they have like a good amount of bulk, like when you can just randomly throw in like 108 EVs, and you're still seeing like, even with that much investment in defense, you're still having a 96 point, or an 81.3% chance to Oko, assuming they have no prior damage, so it's pretty convincing. Uh, but the last that I have here is just kind of something more for fun, but I actually think it could be good as a surprise. Um, Wood Hammer, Rock Slides, and Headbutt Superpower, these are just like the best offensive moves that I that I like saw that it got, um, and so I, that's why I have them here. But again, Woodhammer is going to be your main offense here. Woodhammer is also good on Tapu Bulu because despite the fact that you do take recoil, you will heal a good bit of that with uh, grassy terrain every single turn because Woodhammer is the recoil is. Uh, one third. So you, like you're not even doing it. Like you're doing a third. You're taking. You're doing to yourself a third as much damage as you do to your opponent. So, um, with that in mind, it's really not, it's really not that that much recoil, especially if you invest. So this you will be taking. You will be, you'll be feeling the recoil more because you have max. You don't have max HP. But, um, regardless, I don't think it's that bad because you, you, like the perks are pretty big as I'll show you. So basically, let's say like they have a tapu a tapu lele and, and like you want to switch into tapu bulu. <laughs> So this is the cal- Oh, and I'm so sorry, guys. The speed stat is important because it outspeeds Aerodactyl uh, with Choice Scarf. And I wanted to go one- I, Like, 134 does that as well. Like, so you could do 212 HVs here. Um, and it would also outspeed Aerodactyl, but I wanted to outspeed the things outspeeding Aerodactyl. So you're already- You're just speed creeping the things speed creeping Aerodactyl. And it's not really- Like, you don't really need the extra point in HP, but the extra point in speed could help. You could also just do max speed if you're really worried about that kind of thing. But, yeah. Moving on. As you can see, Woodhammer here is really convincing. It's just like a minimum of 110 to 129, like, uh, 0.3 percent. So even like even with defensive EVs, you can see you're still going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, up to 76, it looks like up to, yeah, up to 76 is, is like you're still always okaying. Two max HP, 76 defense. And keep in mind the Tapu Lele is expecting to outspeed you. So this this set really takes advantage on the element of surprise where. Let's say your Tapu Bulu already took damage, and for some reason you didn't reveal it was Woodhammer, and they bring in Tapu Lele, um, and then you switch out and bring back in Tapu Bulu, and now you're in grassy terrain again. They're like, okay, okay, but he has damage, so I can just KO him, or maybe they're running like random hidden power poison or something, and they're like, okay, okay, like I got this one in the bag. Um, and then you turn to them very slowly, you look off in the distance, and you say, I'm very sorry. You don't have this one in the bag. In fact, this is my bag, and I have it inside of it right now um this this tapu bulu set also could be paired very well with puke and muku who can run helping hand to boost its attacks even further but that's not really the point the last the last cosmic i wanted to do is okay so i was like okay dragon dance gyarados uh pretty pretty big threat right this is wrong i don't know why i did that oh no it's not okay this is correct so i was like okay ooh, i don't know why i had my headphones in guys guys why did i have my headphones in? i wasn't listening to anything anyway more importantly Let's say they have a Gyarados, and they're like, okay, max speed, max speed, adamant Gyarados. So like, okay, okay, very strong. And then, like, they Dragon Dance, and they're like, oh, okay, like, very hard to beat, very very good Pokemon. Um, And then you bring your Tapu Bulu, and they're like, all right, we got, we have Poison Fang, we have Ice Fang, we have Bounce, we have something for this thing. Um, Or even, like, even just the idea that their, their Gyarados could be thinking, I'm going to KO the partner, I'm going to Z-move the partner, I'm going to Z-move the Tapu Bulu, it already has damage. So this is really cool, because it outspeeds, thanks to the EVs that I gave it, it outspeeds and always KOs Gyarados. Offensive Gyarados after a Dragon Dance. So if you guys actually watched Mark is my MBL finals. This is kind of a similar theory where Scarf Rizion outsped um, Aaron and Baz's uh, a plus one Gyarados, which ended up being really huge. So it's a similar idea here if Gyarados gets really big. Also being able to outspeed moms like Garchomp, but the fact that Gyarados can Dragon Dance and still be slower than Tapu Bulu is really, really interesting. Unless they go Jolly, but I don't really think Jolly Gyarados makes a ton of sense. But I could be wrong. That could be really, really dumb. Um, and so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is just some, just some partners. There's a lot of partners that go with Tapu Bulu. I think it could be explored pretty well, but I just wanted, I just wanted to add some stuff. I'm so sorry. Another important thing for Tapu Bulu is that Grassy Terrain halves the damage of Earthquake. So that's why I have three Pokemon weak to ground here, because they can really take advantage of Grassy Terrain. So first of all, just support Arcanine. This probably pairs best with this first set, which is more bulky, uh, has Protect. And Arcanine here is just trying to use will to weaken the opponent's physical attacks, Snarl to, re to reduce the damage of the opponent's special attacks, and then whatever else you want. It'll benefit from from, leech, uh, from Grassy Terrain. You can give it whatever item you want. Um, you can give it Burn Up if you'd like, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the theory there. Raichu I actually really like with Tapu Bulu. Um, it 
has fake out, it has nuzzle, it has encore, it can help put pressure on the opponent. I believe Alolan Raichu has faint, but don't. Well, we can actually find out now that. But blah, 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 showing us update. You could, you could, you can buff faint. You can do whatever you want um, with Alolan Raichu, and I think it pairs really well with Tabu And then the last one is Marowak. Again, this is just a Pokemon that has really good offensive capabilities, uh, and and appreciates the reduce the reduction of damage from Earthquake. So I think it makes a lot of logical sense to pair Marowak with Tabu Bulo, especially considering Marowak's weak to water, and Tabu Bulo is very good versus water. Um, Tabu Bulo being weak to poison, Air, uh, Marowak. I don't, I'm not resisting poisoning, but having Boomerang. Does Marowak resist poison? I have no idea. Anyway, it's not important. That's pretty much it, guys. If you want to know what these EVs do, if you want to know what this set is, uh, I did a, I did a video covering competitive uh, Marowak and. Uh, I will link it in the description down below so you guys can check it out and figure out what exactly these EVs do and um, why I'm running the set that I am. Again, on a Marowak, a Marowak is also good because it lets you have a strong ground type attack that is an Earthquake. And because, as I mentioned, Tap Bullet reduces the damage from Earthquake. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have suggestions for the next mod you want me to cover, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I always read my comments, so any feedback is also appreciated. And... Yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day, or if it's nighttime, I hope you have a very pleasant evening. Peace.